Today, I want to show you how you can set up local push notifications inside of your lovable mobile application. The beauty about local push is you can execute them while you're offline and they can run while the user is offline because they're being scheduled using client side code for a specific time rather than needing a server to be executed, like for example, our one signal integration for remote push notifications. Let's take a look at how we can set up local push in just a few minutes inside of our lovable mobile application. So if we go to lovable.despia.com, we will get this prompt that we can just simply copy and use in lovable. The prompt is essentially telling lovable to take a look at the Despia NPM package, install the Despia NPM package, use the Despia NPM package and importing it into all the components and pages, and then calling the Despia function, which will schedule the native local push notification that essentially uses native SDKs and APIs, meaning you can't do local push on a PWA, on a web app, it needs to be a real native application. And that's what the Despia SDK is doing. It's turning your lovable web application into a real native Swift or Kotlin Java application. Well, you know, of, of course, obviously running your code remotely through the lovable web application code base. And, you know, that's essentially the prompt. We can copy this and just put it into Lovable as a reference. So inside of Lovable, I'm just going to say, add a button with a, um, add a button that schedules a push notification in five seconds to thank the user. No, uh, add a button that schedules a push notification in five seconds with always a different, always a different short dad joke. There you go. And now I'm going to paste this documentation inside of here. So it will have that as a reference. And now we're going to make an application that will send us a local push notification with a dad joke. There you go. Let's have Lovable set that up for us. So I'll add a button that schedules push notifications with random dad. No, it should be dad jokes. Oh, I made a typo. It's going to be weird. Ugh. It's Dada jokes, but oh, I hope it should be dad, dad jokes. Let's see. Jokes. Let's edit that and then we'll take a look at the code again. It does have to redo, sadly, all of the jokes. I mean, maybe they're better if it's, it's, if it's a Dada joke compared to a dad joke, but we'll figure that out together now. So let's see. Now, while it's doing all the kind of stuff and editing it, how about we take a look at the code? As you can see, it is now importing Despia from Despia Native. That works perfectly because that's exactly what we need. If you take a look at our documentation, we need to import Despia from Despia native into the page and the component that will use the native Despia functionalities. And then we're going to execute this Despia function to schedule the dad joke. That works perfectly. There you go. Now, it changed it to be a dad joke and not a Dada joke. So it changed the names and the jokes or no, the jokes are still bad. But um, there you go. Let's go back here. And let's publish this application. Now, the beautiful thing about Despia in comparison, in, in you know, com combining that with Lovable is Lovable and Despia together will give your native mobile application updates over the air, meaning I just did an update inside of Lovable and it's now fully updated on the live application for all my users. Especially when you're building apps with AI, you always want OTA over the air updates. So, when something breaks, you can fix it just like this in a snap and fix it and publish that fix for all your users remotely without having to wait 10 days for the app review to approve this critical change. So that's a big, big pro and using Lovable with Despia and it's 100% store compliant and app review compliant and you don't have to wait 10 days to get critical stuff fixed. You can do it immediately, real time. So now I need to uh, actually 
connect my phone here so you can actually see that. So let's see if I can get the connection through here. It should appear in a second. Uh, let's hope this works today. Let's see. Oh, it's not coming through. Let's see. I think I got to do a cut and then we'll be back in a second. So now the screen mirroring is working. So let's open the application. Now you will see that the content changed. It went from a blank screen with nothing on it to the button. Let's click on the button and let's click it on a few times. How about that? Let's swipe down here. And now we're going to get all... We're going to get all the bad dad jokes. Take a look at that. All of them. Maybe a little bit too much, but this is how you can do local push notifications inside of your lovable mobile application. If I click on the joke, it will open the application. There you go. And I can click again. Give me another dad joke here. And if you swipe down, it just doesn't stop. Look at that. And that's how you do local push notifications inside of Lovable and Despia and how you get real native functionalities into your Lovable application just with a simple to use SDK. There you go. That's how you do that. Oh, there are even more. Oh my God, this is going too much today. <laughs> so this is how you do it. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in the next video where we will talk more about implementing amazing true native functionality inside of your lovable mobile application. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.